So information and communication technology can be used to support and enhance the IQA process, which this is particularly useful when the IQA is located in a different area from their assessors. So you could use a virtual learning environment, an electronic portfolio, or any cloud-based system which could be used by learners and assessors to upload completed work and records too. This would enable the IQA to sample various aspects remotely at a time to suit. Reports could then be completed electronically, uploaded to the system, or emailed as required. So meetings and standardization activities could take place remotely. So for example, through video or telephone conferencing or webinars, Everyone does not need to be in the same room at the same time for activities to be effective. Materials could be produced and circulated electronically prior to the remote meeting and then discussed when everyone is accessible. So never assume that the staff are familiar with and how to use the various aspects of ICT. So the training sessions may need to be carried out and resources might need to be updated to support their use. So making digital recordings or videos of role play activities or actual case studies. So for example, a film of an assessor making a decision and giving developmental feedback to a learner, all assessors could view the recording remotely to comment on the strengths and limitations of the technique used. Then you can make a visual recording of how to complete your documents and reports. If an assessor is unsure how to complete a document, then they can access a video to see a program, Let's see an example of it. So observing a live assessment activities online so you've got visual communication programs such as Teams and Zoom, which we use regularly. Recording verbal information, so making podcasts of or visual recordings of conversations, meetings, and information regarding updates and changes. This can be viewed later by team members. Using a mobile phone or a smartphone, so tablet or digital camera to record an assessor activity. This is useful if the internal quality assurer cannot be present at the time. The assessor could make a recording and forward it on to them to or upload it to an appropriate platform for later access by the IQA. Then we can use blogs and chat rooms, social networking sites and video conferencing, webinars, discussion forums to help staff communicate with each other. Then using cloud-based or online systems to store, access and revise various documents and resources. You can use emails, integrated video facilities to send visual messages. Then you can use web conferencing to talk to assessors, learners, and witnesses if they are quite a distance away. And you can also use webinars to view presentations or to review software packages with team members, enabling them to remain in their locations rather than to travel to a central location. Mm -hmm.